Hi guys and welcome to Super Metallurgy. I'm just gonna walk around. It's called Black Manta. Black Manta. Black Manta. Thank you. All carbon body. Super wide. Look how wide this thing is. So this is a Corvette with a difference. All carbon fiber throughout. <clears throat> Even rear window has been done, as you can see, in carbon. It's being washed at the moment. That's what all the watermarks are. But you can see the uh, carbon finish everywhere. Look at those exhaust pipes. What a total monster. And it's having a wash. So, I believe, according to Angie, we're going out in this in a while. Awesome looking piece of kit. This is the black manta, isn't it? Yes. Why manta? Um, so when we built the car, I wanted to keep in line with how Chevy names their car Stingray. And, I see. And okay. instead of using Stingray, obviously, because that's a Chevy brand already, we, yeah. we decided to use the opposite of the Stingray, which is the manta. I think they're like cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Full carbon. Every panel was replaced except for the roof. Roof. Yes. And that was carbon anyway. The roof is an original carbon component. Yeah. yeah. Um, because that's got the lacquer on it and this is then the matte yes. finish. Everything, even the like the fender lining, when you open the, the clamshell hood, the fender lining's been changed, the runners, uh, the door skins aren't aren't just bonded on. We actually removed the original door skin. Right. And replace it with our door skin. So you left it with the effectively the metal inner section and then bonded onto that, well, both remove the outer well, shell. Well, so Corvettes are, are sort of device. like McLaren, they're, yeah. they're composite plastic yeah. material. So yes, we've left the inner composite lining and then we removed the outer layer on it and replaced it. And it's all the way down to the trunk, down to the diffuser, everything has been changed. Wow. Huge amount of work. This, this, so this build, Took me about three years. And you've built two? This is the second, uh, this is the first one. The second one is in Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Yes. And is, uh, do, you, uh, do you use that car? Is that still your vehicle? Yes, it is, but no, I don't because so California's got this huge debate now with a uh, exhaust law. 
and because because it is running a center exhaust which is sticking out it's obviously not standard and I've gotten into trouble with it so no I don't use it as much in the States it's mostly for displays right and we have a toad to events okay so it's a showpiece it's a showpiece and we just script yeah, we did. And so you've got, um, uh, I'm going to put this one on and then I can show everybody. We've got an uh, air ride suspension in here. Yes. This is running our signature Airx and Acura setup. Which I can hear in the back, so I can hear the air tank in the rear. Yes. Do you hear it as much in other vehicles? Obviously this is open to the cabin, effectively. Yeah, so... Um so, um, you can hear the tank in the back. I think someone has meddled with their air. But it, it wow. runs very low. This thing low. just stops. You can see. You've got all the people looking. <laughs> They're probably thinking, I'm going to nick that camera off the back of it. <laughs> so, uh, still in Manila with Angie King at um, Carbon Racing. And this is, um, this is her Corvette. ZR1 based. Uh, we first, actually, so the white car there was her first trial car. It's a base C6 Corvette and we built all the fiberglass kit on that car. After we tested the car for a few months, we decided to go full carbon fiber. Right. And I ended up buying a ZR1 locally because I wanted to do a ZR1 in the States. So it was her test car so that we can build the US car which we brought to SEMA. Okay. And how was SEMA? It was fun. Yeah? Have you done it before? Is it, uh, no, that was the first, first time. time. Yeah. Will you do it again? Uh, no. No? Okay. Not a, not a huge fan of Vegas. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a big event though, isn't it? It is. It's a huge event. And this engine, have you, um, obviously it's got a, a rated exhaust system on it. Yes, uh, it's got some Lingerfelter goodies, so we are pushing, I think about five, I'm not mistaken, about 500 at the wheel. Okay. And is it safe weight by using carbon? Yes, um, same with the McLaren. Yep. We managed to scrub off, I think in this car, I, I saved about 60 pounds. Okay. Wow, that's awesome. At least it's nice up, didn't you? <laughs> that was a wheel spin. <laughs> Lots of it. The nice thing with the uh, American cars is they're cheap to maintain. They have so much power. Yeah. Right torque, this is all torque. fun to drift. I have a video on my YouTube channel saying like black man that will it drift because it's absurdly wide. It's absurdly wide especially when <laughs> you've got an ambulance coming past. Ambulances they're just so thin these days. <laughs> they need to get a body kit. <laughs> 
I think um, when I first measured the car, we are wider than an H1 Hummer. Oh, that was so close. Wasn't us. No, no, no. It was him. All him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was him. Please don't drop it on the I don't the know car. what he just did. I think he hit the, just, the undulation on the road. That was a close call, ladies and gentlemen. I know. It would have landed on us. Yeah, and that would have damaged the car. <laughs> but he's uh, he's okay. He was only going slowly, so uh, so it's uh, he's riding. He's riding. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> he, what like he was doing was he was staring. Probably. He was staring at the car. It was like if you're looking at a girl or a guy crossing the road and you crash and you feel a bit of an idiot doing it. He was it. looking left. Which I have done. And he hit he hit that weird bump on the road and boom. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so we've had uh, somebody under a lorry. And um, and then almost... we had someone that wanted to get underneath your car. <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry, you won't fit. <laughs> Come to Manila, chuck yourself under a lorry or under a car. And this is a real, at the front here, there's a carbon fiber splitter yes. that comes out of the front of the car. Yes. And it is, if it hit you at speed, oh, I mean, it would, it, would, it would take your feet off. Yeah, no, for sure. Definite no-no in London. You wouldn't be allowed, it wouldn't get through the MOT. Um, <laughs> but I still want one. It's, you know, that's the nice thing with the Philippines, where we don't have to get it engineered, we don't need the MOT so far, right? I mean, even not having a rear windshield would be a problem. Oh god, yeah, you couldn't... Well, then again, there are supercars where you can't see out the back. Well, essentially, that's what I was thinking. Like, I basically so, cover everything because you really can't see anything from normal supercars anyway. And you've got, um... I've never seen a Powerpunk A reverse but, camera? Yeah, have you got a reverse camera, yeah? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you use it a lot, I haven't yeah. used the car in a while, so I don't know if we've installed it. The car in the US does have the reverse camera. I think it needs it. Yes. It needs those sort of width lines, so you can see see exactly. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. Yeah, I know, I saw that, awesome. <laughs> we'll have that on camera. In fact, we'll have the whole thing on camera. <laughs> <laughs> the guy crashing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's all good footage. So the car is pulling slightly left, just, yeah, I see that. just a tad bit. Could be the road. Uh, yeah, no, it, it, it's, I can feel yeah, the, the road is like that. I so also, no, I also feel the weight in the steering, so I've got to do some minor adjustments and alignment, but it's actually running really well because initially when uh, when I broke the tie rod, the car would just like steer left on its own. Yeah, of course. So now it's just doing a slight tad left, so I'm fine just with Just a bit that. of adjustment, fine tuning. Yeah, but uh, you know, the car is usable, air conditioner is yeah. cold. If, if I wanted to shut down the exhaust valve, does not work. I need to check the fuse. So I have a switch for my obnoxious exhaust. <laughs> What's it get louder? No, it, it actually quiets okay, down. Okay, okay. There's a, there's a wiper motor on top where it just muffs it out, so... Did you make that? No, no, I, I buy it from a company called Varix in Australia. Varix, yeah, yeah, I know Varix. And they've been... They do exhaust, don't they? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They've been my supplier for, God, like six, seven years already. Right. Yeah, because I remember on the, uh, the Porsche, um, on my 997 Turbo, um, you don't generally get um, valves turbocharged engine and now they're, they're suddenly doing it I don't know why it was beforehand they're like oh you can't do that and I was like that's rubbish so Capristo was put onto it at huge expense but it did sound absolutely like thunder it was amazing pop those valves open and such a smile to your face <clears throat> and I actually gave it a noise for once which uh, it never had a voice until that point yeah the, the sad thing with the turbos are they're just muffed yeah everything but just... you know the Fer some of the new Ferraris sound quite yeah. good um, but they, I mean, they're not like a like a 355 or something. I mean, that's just so glorious, the noise it makes. I wasn't ready to buy a 458 Speciale, but when one of my partners in the classic car company said, <coughs> Ansh, take the car, I'll give it to you at terms, and you can pay me when you're ready. And it's the last. It's the last. Naturally aspirated. Day. And I put, it, put it this way, I wasn't ready for it, and I was like, done. Yeah. Send it over. Because I love this sound so much and you know driving the 48 it's a lot of fun it's fast yeah yeah but driving the 458 even though it's not as fast it's so invigorating because when you're up there and the engine's screaming and you're just like this is a ferrari yeah 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 that's what it's all about exactly it's the, it's the, what color is it i got a yellow one have you yes the yellow wow. one black stripes 
I have uh, HRE wheels on it. We installed the Klein full in Canelo exhaust on it too. Nice, yeah. It sounds the business. I bet it does. I gotta send it in for service though. I had a check, and that's here now, check isn't engine it? Just, light yeah. that came on that awesome. we can't seem to figure out. No, 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 not this one. No, no, that one, no, the other one. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's just checking because we've already had one on the McLaren, one on the um, Speciali, and so. That's how I drive. Cock. Come on. This Throw a, a few warning lights for me. But this is a GM. <laughs> this, this can take everything. get from people as you go past them. They're just like, what is that? It's very cool. It's worth owning this car, just so you can see the faces of people as they go past you. Because there's no Ferrari or Lamborghini, I think, or maybe even a Pagani or something. I don't think it gets the same looks. We, you know, we have the, the look of the Batman effect where it just it's like it's it's Darth Vader's car. This is it. Darth Vader's spawn. 